Here's example two of using the sum to product formulas. Uh, so what we're going to do is write this sum of two trig functions as a product. Uh, so here we have sine of six theta plus sine of two theta. So it's a lot like example one, but instead of minus, we have plus. So what we're going to do is go to our formula sheet. And if you want to copy this formula sheet, uh, check the video description. There's a link in there. You can click that link and get a copy of this. So here we have sine of something plus sine of something else. So we're going to use this first formula. Sine alpha plus sine beta is two sine alpha plus beta over two times a cosine of alpha minus beta over two. Okay. So that's what we're gonna use there. And uh, six theta is going to be our alpha and two theta is going to be our beta. Okay, so now we're just plugging stuff into that formula. That's pretty much it. So this is going to be two times the sine of alpha plus beta, which is six theta plus two theta, all divided by two, times the cosine of alpha minus beta, which is six theta, minus two theta, and all divided by two. And then we just simplify a little bit. So this is two times the sine of six theta plus two theta is eight theta, and we're dividing by two there. Then we have the cosine of six theta minus two theta is four theta, and don't forget we're dividing by two. So then one last thing left to simplify, uh, that's two times the sine of eight theta over two is four theta. And then we have the cosine of four theta over two, which is just two theta. Okay. So that's it. Uh, for example, two, really not a whole lot happening here. Um, just the idea is to make sure that you use the correct formula. And then uh, once you identify what your alpha and what your beta are, uh, just uh, plug these things into the formula here, and that's pretty much it. And then simplify as much as you can, really. So there's not much left to simplify here uh, once we get to this step. So two sine of four theta times a cosine of two theta, that's this sum of two trig functions expressed as a product of these trig functions here. So that's example two.